Hello YouTube, welcome to Curious Me channel. This is Shabazz Khan and in this video we will learn about .NET Core and Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is an IDE using which you can develop .NET Core applications very easily. So let's just start. So what is .NET Core? Well, .NET Core is an open source cross-platform framework provided by Microsoft using which you can develop web applications as well as Windows native applications. Currently, there is no support for Linux or iOS applications. Maybe we can expect them in future. What are the advantages of .NET Core over traditional .NET framework? Well, off the head, I can think of one or two advantages. First one is now you can run applic uh, .NET applications on Linux as well as Windows uh, servers. Earlier, this was not the case. And uh, you can, uh, from my personal experience, I have seen this, that .NET Core applications run faster than .NET Framework applications. This is my personal experience. And uh, you can also check out this video. And the, tit uh, the title of the video is What is the Future of .NET? It is by I am Tim Corey. I have given the, list, uh, the link in the description. You can use it. So in order to build a .NET Core application, we need to download .NET Core SDK. So to download a .NET Core SDK, you just go and search .NET Core SDK, go to .NET Core 3.1 SDK, uh, just download the version which you want. So since I'm on Windows machine, I'll download x86. You can download whatever you like. I'll download this. It will begin. It will take some time. Now, once the installation is done, you can simply open the file and begin the process of installation. So then it will start installing. I'll pause this video. I'll come back once this is done. So now the installation is done. Uh, let me just quickly close this open command or command prompt. Now I'm at the location where I want to create my application. So just navigate to the folder where you want to create and open the command from there itself. Once you have installed, you will have access to this command .NET. Okay. Now you can check which version you are on by typing version. So I'm currently the version which I installed the, and you can also get the list of uh, commands that you can run using this help. All right. Now it will download I mean, it will show the list of commands that are available and the templates that you will get along with uh, this specific .NET course. So what I did is, so this new, it allows us to create templates for the kind of application which you want, right? And help will give you the list of templates which is available. Okay, now let's see what are the available templates that we have. First is class library, WPF application, uh, class library, and all these things. And unit, unit, it's ASP.NET Core empty. Uh, so currently, what we will do is we'll simply create a web application. Uh, this one, ASP.NET Core web app. We'll create this one. Sorry. ASP.NET Core Web App Model View Controller. There's a list and uh, you can experiment with this. So I'll just create this one. Now to create an application, you just have to type .NET New and the name of the template that you want. So this is the description which, uh, which is telling you what you are making and this is the short name which you use to create the actual project template. So I'll type MVC and the name that you want to give your application or your uh, project file, the name of your project file. So I'll give my core application and I'll hit enter. Now you will see uh, once, once this entire process is done, if I open my uh, this directory core demo, you can see that there is a folder which it says my core application. If you double click on it, you'll see the, that you have all the files that you need to actually uh, run a .NET Core application. All right. We'll leave this as it is and we'll simply go inside the directory which we just created my core application cd my core application it will you now you are inside your uh, application which you want to run i'll run this command dot net run 
that's it now what dot net run will do it will bootstrap the entire application and host it in local host and will listen to a port and once this is done you'll see that the application is now listening to our local host port 5001 for ssl and 5000 for http well ssl is just an encrypted version of whatever you are sending so this is more secure you can use either of these ports to interact with your, with your application so let's open our uh, browser let's open the local host 5000 right 5000 is for http so here you can see that you created so this is the template that you get uh, out of the box this is it and your application is up and running you can navigate you can do whatever you want so this is a basic tutorial of what is dotnet core how it is better than dotnet framework and how to quickly create a template and just host it now you can do experiment with uh, the existing files and the existing uh, structure all right now you can use any ide you want sorry you can use any ide you you want i personally favor visual studio because it is my go-to editor and i absolutely love that so let's download that and install it i already have it so just type visual studio code go here all right now download for windows or download for whatever you want i have i have it already for windows and once you have installed this you can either double click and uh, open the application or you can type code dot and it, it will open uh, visual studio code for you all right so just type in code dot and uh, just wait a minute yeah now you can see sorry just let me close this so that was my existing application which i was working on i'll open the application from here go to file open folder now you have to go to the folder which you want oops mm, i forgot okay core demo inside it we have our application my core application just click on it select folder now you can see okay it's taking some time okay now you can see that all your controllers and models properties views everything is in order and you can now start creating your application one of the biggest advantage of dotnet core is let me just close this for a second now control c shut down let me close this now one of the biggest advantage of this uh, visual studio code is you get an integrated terminal you can click here terminal new terminal this is one way or to open a terminal you can also press control and tilde okay so once you are in this my core application you can do whatever you want this is basically your command prompt you can also change it to whatever you want like you can change it to powershell i have git bash installed so it can also act like a git bash anyways i'll i like this command prompt terminal itself so i'll just start here what you can do is you can run the same set of commands from here as well dot net run i'll run and since i am already in the folder this run will bootstrap application inside this dot uh, my application run and it will start okay this is one of the biggest advantage you can immediately do all your code changes you can host your application from here so uh, this is uh, basics of visual studio now you uh, visual studio obviously does not look like this i have a few modifications that i have done so let me show you what i use personally so basically this theme is called cobalt 2 uh, let's let me just show you what are the extensions that i use angular language services for angular which we'll get to sooner for c sharp for developing c sharp code you must have this c sharp extension this c sharp extension is a must so that you can start this omni server this omni server helps you in compiling and taking care of all your codes you will get all uh, the okay let me just show you to you what it gives you now for example i'm in this this page right now this gives you a very nice set of intelligence now i want to return something right so i can get a list of what i can return 
by simply going here con pressing control and space bar it will load all the valid responses okay you can return or json you can return so this intellisense feature is very nice is available via this extension this c sharp extension and all the other things like uh, this red squiggly basically this omni sharp server is uh, your c sharp go to extension all right now let's go see this cobalt to theme this what this is what i am using uh, docker extension i am using beautify beautify is to align your css and uh, your sas and less all these codes you can you know properly align those codes uh, angular snippets using this you can uh, just see you can see this example just writing a dash and you just press enter and it will write the entire code for you so those are the snippets and uh, the, this material icon theme this is what i uh, in uh, i am in love with recently so let me just open this here you can see this colorful folders right uh, this nice folder this red folder and this symbols c sharp see this a uh, cshtml symbol right so all these things are provided by this material icon theme so you can use this peacock so peacock is something when you are working with multiple visual studio code you can color your code uh, color your visual studio so let me open another one and i'll show you what i mean yeah so since both my visual studios they have the same color right how will you identify which one you are working on so what this peacock allows you it allows you to color all right so you can open the command bar in visual studio using control shift p all right here you can get the list of all the commands that is available on that all the settings that is available which you can run on for this specific visual studio code now i want to use peacock i'll type peacock all right change to a favorite color okay i'll press enter see what it does is it colors this specific version of my visual studio to this specific any specific suppose i want to go with red i'll do red and i'll leave it so now what will happen this is red but this is not now i can easily identify right okay this is my front end window this is my back end window so this is one of the best features i think i have come across and ts lint so yeah it is something which lints uh, typescript files so these are the extensions that i generally use and uh, yeah that was a very 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 quick like uh, visual studio code you know walk through and if you want to start working on or creating dotnet core application you can start right now with this yep that's it maybe in next video we'll exp we'll explore on dotnet cores this folder structure and we'll see what each of these does and what are the controllers and how you can you know how you can do dependency injection and other stuff in dotnet cores so yeah go on and explore and uh, do stuff Thank you so much for tuning, tuning into this video. Have a great day ahead.